Well, we'll go straight to the newspaper review for today. I will start, as always, as always with this day on Saturday, uh, where the lead story six says Forex market records $1.83 billion turnover in one week amid reforms. Cardoso urges Nigeria's appetite for dollar, patronized local services. Says Apex Bank has resolved to end ways and means financing. CBN removes cap on interbank FX transactions. Edu, federal government to resume social intervention scheme to reduce hardship. Interesting story there. We spoke, you know, uh, a lot on uh, Mr. Cardoso and all the interventions that CBN is bringing on board and how it looks like things might look up uh, from where we are, a $1.83 billion turnover in one week, like you said earlier, yes. and they still are, uh, is something to applaud. It is something you know? to applaud. You know, so uh, so that's, that, that's good there. About the story on top says, finding lasting solution to insecurity. Hardship, hardship. Can Anglican Church Yoruba leaders te find lasting solution to insecurity? Hardship. Can Anglican Church Yoruba leaders tell federal government? Oh, Nick Kokos calls for location of military base in Ekiti to stop menace. Joins calls for creation of state police. I think the agitation for state police, you know, will not go away, anytime you know, anytime soon. soon. And more so, that is part of what the APC used in campaigning to Nigeria. Is this something that the president and his team will be willing uh, to return to? Time will tell. Uh, the story on top of that, which is below the masthead, Obuku. NDDC now focused on Niger Delta transformation. That's three on page six. That's the MD of NDDC, uh, Dr. Samuel Obuku speaking. I wonder what N N NDDC has been focused on before, before now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the mandate was very, uh, uh, I mean, specific. Mm -hmm. On top of the mustard after strike threat, FG moves to pacify labor, says implementation of MOU in progress. Mm. Same old story, isn't it? Yeah. Between the, the federal government and labor, the labor see, unions, yeah. just to avert the, the, the threat of uh, industrial action. And on the window, Tinubu signs Electricity Act Amendment Bill into law. And I like the fact that the Ohio State Governor, uh, Shei Makide, uh, uh, is, you know, has signed the Ohio Electricity Regulatory Commission Bill into law. So this is not just about the federal government, this federal government down. States, you have the power, you know, to turn the fortunes as far Obvious. as electricity yes. is around. It's not uh, on the know. exclusive list. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we <laughs> also need to look at our governors and figure out what they are doing to give us light. Also that they are getting more money mm. now, you know. So punch we'll, very we'll, quickly. Yeah, let's take the Saturday punch very quickly because it has a very, very interesting main story there. Mm. EFCC declares Emefiele's wife, three others wanted. Mm. Commission accuses the ex-CBN governor's wife, others, yeah. of money laundering, economic sabotage. Wow, I mean, those, those strong words, you know. Very strong very words. Very strong words. Well, I, you know, I would not say that there are a lot of Nigerians who have a lot of sympathy for Mr. Emefiele's current um, situation, because if this is true, if EFCC is correct in their investigations, then somebody taking money and sharing it amongst their family members mm money belonging to the Central Bank of Nigeria mm -hmm. is akin to economic sabotage of the country. And we are that's, facing hard times right now. That's the allegation. We hope that the EFCC will move from, you know, newspaper allegations, uh, declarations, you know, to the law, to the law court. Let's yes. also quickly take Saturday Vanguard, which is about uh, one of the papers uh, that has the AFCOM final, you know, on cover. And Vanguard says Rufai, Yubu, send words to eagles, what to expect, how to overcome uh, Ivory Coast. I, I think that uh, tomorrow is all about the final. Our president, we are told, yes. will be going to uh, Abidjan to watch the final. The odd favor Nigeria is not but then you can write off a team that was written off, yes. you know, at the preliminary stage. And they stage. have a home advantage. They, <laughs> they, are, they, sure they are in Cote d'Ivoire. They, they sure are do. in home territory. But we'll beat them once. Let's hope that uh, history will be again. kind, kind yes, to us. It will be there. Osime, we need the goals. Please <laughs> provide for the Eagles. He has done quite well, definitely, really, Osime. Definitely. But of course, we, we're in support and we'll watch the match. Mm. All right, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. 
Thanks for watching and do stay safe.